What's up folks, Gene Epi Prepper here. Today, we're going, to, we're going to attempt to make one of these clay pot space heaters. <clears throat> With a couple size pots, as you can see here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got, got a good size hole in one end. Got another one that's going to fit inside. We're going to need a bolt. This is a quarter inch by two inch. We're going to need four nuts. And we're going to need four washers. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just four big flat washers. What we're going to start off doing is taking this pot right here. We're going to put a bolt through with the washer. Bolt through with the washer. Then we're going to raise it up and on the inside <coughs> we're going to put another washer and a bolt. Or excuse me, a nut. And when we put this together, as you can see, you've got that bolt sticking through on the bottom side. Now what we need to do is put a spacer in. So we're going to need another nut right there. And another washer so that there's a spacer. At this point, we will take our second pot. And measure it. And we see there then we're going to have to take the nut down more. We're basically going to want it even with the bottom. And that'll just about do it right there. We will take another washer, stick on the inside, and one more nut. So actually we just need three nuts. Alright, then your bowl is going to look like this. Now, got votive candles. These were right at five dollars for 16 candles. For this particular application, we're going to use three. I also bought a plate candle holder. We'll pull the little stickies off of it. And there we go. These are unscented candles. That's the reason why they're so cheap. Now if you were to get the scented ones, I think they're like 50 cents a piece. But I just didn't see the point in it.
we're going to place this is a quarter sheet baking sheet and we are going to go ahead and light these candles Now, these particular bowls I got will fit right on top, just like that. And what we're going to do is wait and see how long it takes to heat up. And I will come back and tell you if this is actually warm. I've seen lots of videos and people say they can feel heat radiating off of it. But I want to see exactly what it does. I've turned my heater off at the house and it's right at 34, 35 degrees outside. And I want to see if this does anything to maintain some temperature in my little <clears throat> apartment. So we will let this go for a little bit and see what happens. We'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, ran into a problem. Apparently the candles need a little more space to breathe to burn. Uh, two attempts at trying to adjust it and I really couldn't get the candles to burn for over a minute or two before they just extinguish themselves. So this is about the height right here. Maybe a little lower could work but this is the only spacers I could find that could that would be safe for this experiment. But I think this is going to get it right here. This is a uh, probably the optimal. I've got three cans on there with the dish holding the candles. So it's real sturdy. Um, nothing moves at all. So I think that'll be sufficient as far as a stand for it. it. Makes it a little cleaner looking than some of the ones I've seen with bricks. But we'll see. Alright, be back just a little bit. Okay, just a little side note, and I turned off all the lights in the house just to kind of see how this would uh, look. And it puts off plenty of light to be able to walk through your house uh, without having to have another light source. Uh, actually pretty impressive. So that's another added bonus if it actually does heat. Back in a bit. Okay, it's been one hour, and as you can tell, the candles have burned down pretty good in one hour. But I will say this, this is very, very warm. Uh, it's not too warm that you can't put your hand on it. But actually, very much longer and it would be too warm to put your hand on. But this general area around where this, this, uh, is set up at is actually much warmer than the rest of the room so if you had this set up on like a little little coffee table or something fairly close to where you're sleeping I think it would probably work but I'm gonna go ahead and put another set of candles in it and burn it for one more hour and see see how hot it is after one more hour everybody was saying it was about two hours before it got real warm so we'll see I'll be back okay it's been right about two hours and this is actually kind of surprising but this little device here has actually kept the chill off of the room. I turned the heat off and I haven't even dropped a degree with it being 30 some odd degrees outside. Um, I'm sitting at around 72. The whole the whole thing is warm, very warm to the touch. Up here on top you can't you can't touch that just for a second and obviously that metal bolt right there is ridiculously hot. But in general, uh, just
just for using candles. This thing is pretty impressive. It actually puts out more heat than some of the little uh, toy electric heaters that I've seen. So uh, I would definitely consider this a success, especially in a very small area. Uh, if you had a small bedroom or or something like that, just a, a small small area where you could just bunch up in, this would definitely take the chill off and at least make make it survivable. So, uh, yep, we've got to we've got to mark this one up as a, as a success. So. Anyways, thanks for watching. GW Prepper out.